six and a half amps now. I'm happy with that. I thought it'd be less. I really did. If I look like shit, it's because I've just woken up. Today, I'm going to wire up the... I don't even know what you call it, the electrics panel, the control panel, the whatever. You can see the wires coming in. It goes into that box. I haven't wired anything up, it's just direct. So, I'm going to put the breakers in, which are those things there. And there's my inverter. That's a three and a half kilowatt inverter and it won't do, it'll only do 500 watts, that's it. When you're buying one, when it says three kilowatt, yeah, divide it by five, uh, usually. I'm going to get the breaker panel in and then we'll make a start. Come in and I've got these two wires. These are the two wires to the solar panel. Now you need a quick and easy uh, method to, to disconnect the solar, the solar array. I'm gonna go with wiring it up to this. It's not ideal, but it's a necessity, I suppose, is an easy way to disconnect your solar array. So that's what, that's what I'm going with. Um, so these are the wires that come in to off the solar array. So they've got to go to a, a 32, I think, or are the 16s? So I'm going to put a 16 amp breaker in there. I mean, it really, it should be, I think it's only about six amps maximum. So I should really have a six, have a six amp or a 10 amp maximum, which you can't get. <laughs> So I'm going to have a 16 amp because it will never go above that. I'm going to add, an, add another two panels, I think. So that will give me, I think it's something like about 12 amps. The output from the battery, uh, I've, I've, I've worked it out to be fair. I'm going to do um, 1500 watt output. So you divide that by 24, that gives you about oh, 62. So I need a 64 amp breaker. I'm quite literally going to stick it on the outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is wire up the, uh, the, the input off, or the output, if you want to call it that, the output off the solar panels. I've got this to monitor. This is AC, so this will only handle, will only monitor. Will it? No, yes, I think it will. This will only monitor the output off the inverter. And here's my shitty little inverter, which I'm not going to hard mount, but I've got to decide where it's going to go. I don't want anything to get into here. I don't want any spiders, because there's loads of spiders. So I've got two holes. One for the positive, one for the negative. That makes sense. There is the whole lifetime question. When I was pissing around in the UK with it, I wasn't, it was nothing serious, you know, I wasn't getting a lot of power off it and I wasn't using a lot of power. I've expanded this. It's ridiculous now. You know, people sit there and they work out how much they're going to get off the solar and how long how long it takes to pay for itself and they always go on sort of the maximum that the solar panels will generate what a bunch of wankers if you want to see the correct way of doing everything right don't watch these videos if you want to see the practical way of doing these things then watch these videos because I don't in fact, it's quite rare that I do anything that's correct. I just do it so it's practical. There is a, a fine line between perfection and practicality. I'm a perfectionist, practical person, and I really don't give a shit about things like this because it's unnecessary. The good thing about having one of these boxes, which only cost me, I think it was about two pounds, uh, is that you can hide a lot of a lot of sins, I suppose. I know this is not the correct way. I know there are 
rules and regulations and in the solar community and stuff like that that you have to follow but over here you've got um, one to need I suppose you know, there's some things that you want you don't necessarily need and I am a very very need person I've changed a hell of a lot since I've left the UK Living like a tire person is quite good actually because you don't get stuff that you just don't want. I want a shitload of stuff. I don't need it. In comparison to my usual projects, this is done properly. I need these wires here, which are going to go on the outside of the battery box. So we need one wire there, and I ain't got the faintest idea how the hell I'm going to cut this stuff. There you go, seven pound angle grinder. <laughs> I found a couple of uh, things, a couple of lugs. So I just crimp it one side and then you get the other side with your bloody big pipe grips. You quite literally flatten the bloody thing. Both the positive and negative are going to have black heat shrink on it. It doesn't matter. So obviously the black one goes onto the negative terminal. And then I've got to do this one onto the positive. I hope people are actually learning things from these videos because this is what I do is I I try to educate people and if there's any questions that you've got just pop them below and I'll I'll just ignore them. <laughs> yeah. Now I'll try I try to answer them. We've obviously got the AC out. Now that's what I want to measure. So the easiest way is to plug that in like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to splice into this I'm going to keep the earth line in there. Um, this is just a normal extension lead that I've actually put a meter on it. I'm going to cut the live and the neutral and then I'm going to put them into this thing. I'm making this as, as, as tidy as possible I suppose. Um, I mean whether you need the earth or not is up to you. And then we can cut them Basically, yes, in the, I can cut that in the middle. The input is going to be the output from this. So what we need to do is, I'll cut that bloody plug off in a minute. What we need to do is put that in the middle like that, which is about there. And then we need to figure out how much wire we need, which is about that much. Then I'll get my wire strippers, which I can't remember where I put. Get my screwdriver, which has got, oh, there it is. And then the live which is the brown into the L and the live goes in there bollock them down that's an English term in American bollock them down and then fire it up and hope that nothing bangs well nothing's banged but the meter hasn't come on why why's it got a countdown on it why's that got a countdown on it three two one yay we've got an output right I'm going to see if I can set the app up and then we'll plug something into it and see if we can get anything out. We show 105 watts. But the Toya app, it, it only updates about once every few seconds. None of these actually match up, you know. That's, that's showing 41, 47 watts. That's showing 23 watts. That's the other one showing 45 watts. Oh my god, it's all over the place. So I'll now unwire that, cut that. Plug it all through there, put it all back in and then re-splice this, this earth wire. You know there's going to be some bloody do-good person watching this and they're going to be like, oh you shouldn't do it like that. Because when they watch my videos, and I know this happens, I'm not saying everyone does it. Everyone who comments, there are some people who know what they're talking about. But there are some people who watch my videos and then they'll go on the internet and they'll see the correct way of doing things and then they, they comment on the video and say well you've done that wrong you should have done this well yeah I know I know 
the correct sort of way, but at the minute I'm being practical and I don't follow all the EU bloody rules that they put in place. Right, where well, I'm going to cut that. Where's my bag of bloody drills gone there? Now you have to make do with what you've got. I used to do this to an extent in the UK. Oh, I don't buy the right tools, I don't buy the, the specific tools either. I don't see the bloody point in it when you've got something that does the job. So it's pretty much done now. I'm just waiting for the other inverter to turn up because like I say this is only 500 watts. It says 3.5 kilowatts but it bloody well isn't. There's nowhere for all the creepy crawlies to get in either. Well, I hope you've learned something in this however long minute video. I hope you've learned something in this series as well and if you have, do me a favour, hit the subscribe button or at very least hit the like button, share it with the world because I bloody well need it now I tell you. You don't know the insight into my world but you know I do need it now because look at my slippers. You know I don't get I don't get any crap off the missus whatsoever. The only thing she says to me is shall we go out and, and that's annoying sometimes because <laughs> I'm a bloke. Anyway I've got to go because I've got to clean up in here and then I can put the box outside um, I'm, I'm going to see about putting a, a, a cable through the wall but I really don't know if I can do that yet I don't know if I'm allowed I don't think I am allowed I'll probably have to get an electrician to, to do it anyway yes if you found it informative hit the like button hit the subscribe button drop a meaningless comment below because it helps the algorithm and gets this video shown uh, and obviously there is a video series and there's still more to come because I haven't finished it yet uh, when I plug it into the mains that'll be interesting <laughs> so enjoy life keep smiling do what you want to do in life and bollocks to what anybody else thinks well I've got the electric bike in so that's alright the battery box is sealed so I'm not worried about that but I'm worried about the solar panel because it's becoming rather windy and this is just the start of it apparently <laughs>